Hello together here at Chrisley's Mod Devil Werkstatt. Today unboxing of this great B52 with X15 experimental aircraft. As you know, in the 1980s Monogram has had the serious young astronauts. So they have had this great kit with a B52 and the X15, both on scale 1 to 72. Now we're doing the unboxing. So I'm very surprised. Two aircraft in one big box. So you see big box, a lot of parts inside. The decoys. Of course this kit is from 1987 so don't keep this in mind but honestly I don't see any yellow touch or something like that so it looks not so bad. Of course here we see this uh, moving material but anyway I think it makes not so bad impression. The manual for the B-52 we have a huge one, you see. Okay. So, very easy keeping. Oh! B52, X15. Okay. Okay, so in the manual there's not so much written. We see it's very easy keeping. But we will see how it's going to be look like. Of course, at the end we're going to see all the details there and the picture. Okay. What's nice here in this kit from Monocam? There's some um, chart with a picture on the astronaut. Oh, yeah. the young astronaut. The, the, this mission was called. That's not so bad. I like it. Okay, let's go. Let's start with the clear part. Not so bad. We see the windscreen reaper. Not so specific. Very good. It's good casted. Oh, okay. We have here the single part for the B-52, single part for the X-15, and B-52 part again. Okay, so let's start with the B-52. And this casting, okay, let's start. So we have the casting for the pylons. Here we have the pylon figures, so we see the very huge aircraft. Engine bay wheel gear. It's very old um, plastic cast casting we see on the, the shadow, the shapes, but uh, and don't forget it's 1980s. So, but honestly, how often you're going to get B52 in scale 1 to 72? I think we have to live with this. Oh, that I like. So here we see a famous Burton Whitney J33 engine. Not very detailed, but at least it's there, so we can op keep built an open um, yeah, engine. The cockpit is very simple to keep, but anyway, okay. Here we see the, the car for the engine. You see the small ribs and all the things. What do we have here? Some more casting materials. That's the pylon where the X52 is going to be hauled on. We have draw going positive lines, but we know that it's, yeah. 1980 kit. There are also pilots added, but if you compare it with uh, the B36 pilots, the B36 pilots have been looking much more better than this one. But anyway, so it's very small kit. Um, but I like pilot main wheel. So you see how big this aircraft is going to be. So let's also go to the next casting main wheels. We see all the small brakes. Yeah, and all this small stuff like. In general, or well, the first solution, casting is very easy done. So it's typical 1980s style, so you see it all is rods and so on. But um, yeah, I think if you have the chance to build on B52 with X15, yes, you can lift it. So we see the rear wing, the tail arm, part for the engine, engine entry, compressor, main gear. For the main gear, honestly, I would prefer to use an um, upgrade kit from um, yeah, from aftermarket solid metal. Other side, you see it's really, really, really big aircraft, so that's only the tail Here we're going to the big part, you see the wings for the B-52, so that's really huge. If you compare it, you don't forget, here's the pilot, you can see how small the pilot is, how huge the aircraft. If you've ever changed, 
So see the B-52 in reality. Take it. It's, it's really worth doing it. Um, but I'm about to get myself. So as we see, very big positive lines. It's not type of the art, but yeah. So maybe it just makes sense to do some grinding and some complete rework and engraving the panels. Maybe. You will have some nice features, the um, turbulence wheels, so it's not so bad. Yeah. Maybe we can do some scratch, make the flaps in down position. We will see. So what do we have here? Ah, okay. Next wing, sure. And here's a real big, huge pain airframe. As I said, positive line overall. Looks not so bad. It's very cheap done. Plastic, of course, 98 is, you cannot forget. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. And uh, compare. Compare how big it is, how huge, huge aircraft. Fit from fraction don't look so bad. We'll see how it is to assemble it. Oh, we'll be surprised. Here we have the additional windscreen oh, yeah. for the bomber version. We'll see. So that was um, unboxing of the B-52. Now let us go to the unboxing of the X-15. Okay, let's go to unboxing X-15 from Monogram. Not so much many parts. Two cartings from the same main fuselage. There's the um, fixture to put the X15 on top, but I think I will put it on the B52 if we're going to build it. Um, yeah, honestly, this looks so small now. Yeah? But if you compare it, how big the X B52 is, and here we have the pilot, then you realize it's a huge, still a huge aircraft. We have here the wheels, looks not so bad. Um, not so many engravings, positive lines, of course. Um, yeah, can it be very simple, but wow, I don't believe it. You also have the small panel lines and all this stuff, like so. I think they did a good job. Pitot tubes and all this stuff. Oh, what? That's a bit pity. No. Oh, okay, that's the front um, windscreen. You can put in some clear side parts and you can even look inside, that's great. Here we have the part to place the X-15 on a standard. Additional fuel tanks. Um, stylish version of the engine, but anyway. Here's the cockpit panel, you see. They also have here some small signal you can see here. So it's well done. I really like to build this B-52 of the X-15. So as I said, um, only for comparison, huge aircraft, XB-52, X-15, we have only here the, um, the engine, look, or the tail of it. You can imagine how big this airplane is and how small the X-15 is, but honestly, have you ever seen the X-15 in reality? Oh, it's a huge aircraft, I like it. Okay, so that was unboxing of the B-52 with X-15 from Monogram. Um, my impression is if you ever get the chance to get this kit and buy it, do it. That's really proud of it. But um, honestly, I would buy some additional conversion set. For example, the um, conversion set NB-52A for the X-15 available. And um, yeah, I would buy it. But with that, like, so, I hope you have enjoyed it and see us next here on Chris's Modellbox at www.youtube.com. Bye!